Hi guys, welcome to RC Racing here. We are here with the Mark II HSP XSTR Pro. I haven't done a couple of videos in the time. Uh, I haven't done a couple of videos for a long time because I've been really busy with um, school and that. So I just thought I'll get away from the RCs a little bit, just give it a break, and let parts come in, let flow in. So if you look at my previous video, which I'll be putting a link in below. There was none of these parts, all plastic parts, like all these A-arm parts, all these plastic parts, plastic um, plate, skid plate, not skid plate, um, chassis, chassis, yeah, and uh, I've got a pot somewhere, I can find it, so disorganised here, sorry so much, a box full of all these old plastic parts, like hubs, uh, steering, um, I don't know what the name of they are. So plastic servo saver. You can see that. We have got Jake here today as our cameraman. Yeah. So it is I've upgraded the shocks to I thought I'd change it a bit for purple. Just to randomise it up a bit. Uh I've got as you see blue hubs and all that, blue hubs in there, if you can just see about in there. Lighting. Have you seen that? Uh, roughly, it's really quite dark in at the moment. And you're getting more light in. It's a bit bashed. <laughs> a bit, just a bit, yeah. Blue skid plate or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's pretty good. So I'm gonna start putting it back together. That's what I'm gonna start doing. But move this over here a bit. So. You must be wondering what happened to my Acme MB16. <laughs> it's fucked. Uh, I haven't got a video of it, but before I was going to video it, but I didn't have Jake with me at the time. I did a 20, like 25, 20 foot jump and um, completely wrecked the diffs. Mind all this Meccano up here, which <laughs> I've tried, I got bored, so I tried making the suspension a bit better. But I have got upgrade shocks coming. I've got better, harder springs which will rise it up a bit. So I don't want it sagging. I want it high. Like I want it level, not like down like that. So yeah, there's no um, uh, glow plug in there at the moment, but it is a really good car. Great old things. It's that, brilliant cars. It's that jump you did, isn't it? That jump that killed it. See, testing our RCs here. It did. It they they do come with metal gears, but I don't know why they sell plastic gears. I think the plastic ones are for the electric ones because they Probably. do brush uh, Acme EB16, which is electric. So that's probably what they do it. See, fully floating, bro. Fully. <laughs> um, this is a new thing to our channel. Let me quickly get it. it was oh yeah. New, but it comes off the wall. There's the front of the car. Jake moves out the way a bit. A bit tighter. Showing them this. Please excuse me for that annoying sound in the background. That is the air conditioning. It's quite warm in here. So, this is a HPI RS4 MT Nitro. And all part of it. Well, not all parts are splattered around the old workshop, innit? It's, mm -hmm. it's done a lot, innit? Yeah, and it's an old engine. It's an old engine. Been through a lot. It's older than, uh, I think it was like 2007 or 2004 this car came out, so it's, it was a family member, but Upgraded. like family members does, it just died And out. there's another, um, well, well, something, something special, something special this to is, remember. This, is a, this is our remembrance body, it's a bit dirty, which, I tried repairing. It kind of didn't work. It didn't work. I did bad. So, this those be models, they do help me out. They did send me some parts and some tools. So, get some garbage wall of fame up there. Sorry about the shed, by the way. The shed's pretty shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, then we got the old. Um... Old grasshopper buddy. As you can see, let's move this out of the way. Jake takes a tour around the grasshopper. Is a pretty good body. 
it is proper plastic, not like these shitty plastic ones that you get now these days if I can find the one. Like, like all of the cars and that shit there. plastic, yeah, the wall of doom. Wall of shame. Wall of shame. My cars up there. Yeah. These are the plastic, these are the bodies at the time, look, they're so flimsy. I know there's different types of plastic, but why can't they make bodies like this? Might look like that. Might be a little bit heavier. A bit heavier, but... But at least it's strong. Strong, isn't it? It's really like thin. Like thin plastic, it's so... Really thin old stuff. Going back in time. 1984. Grasshopper. I'm your grasshopper. And... They are bulletproof. No, it's just like, these are strong cars. When they were made back then, the plastic was just amazing. But now it's like recycled rubbish, isn't it? So, we this will be doing a video on this. When it gets fixed. Need a new ESC and a new motor as well. Which I have got in stock. Oh, the body can go back up here. So... Motor. Here's the new motor. It's not 550. New. Size brush motor that we've got there. Then we have got. That that will be pretty quick in the ESC. But that's the. And we've got spare ESC. ESC. That was off the D at the DHK hobby, which is kind of dead. Mangled. Mangled. We Diffs. did. We did. We also got, we started doing skate park paint. Oh. And. Oh, it's wreck I mean, it was skate park paint. Pain, um, real pain. For I obliterated cars. it. I've just put it on. I haven't put, even put it on the wall of shame. It's, it needs to go on the wall of shame more than shame. And it is. I can save a couple of bits out of it. Like, where I was. <laughs> like the diffs of. The diffs are alright, actually. It needs a new. Uh, it needs a new spur gear and a pinion gear. Uh, it needs a new casing for the. Spur gear and uh, uh, spur gear and pinion gear. That's right. I'm a bit loopy. <laughs> and I can save the ESC out. Uh, not the ESC. The motor. A couple of other things like shocks. I did. Do the, I did get these shocks with a thicker oil. I would tell you the thickness of the oil, but I haven't got it. And it just firms up the car a bit. It just go over a rough bound. It. Soaks up a lot of the bumps. So now, put this down on the wall. Yeah, There's all like little bits and bobs and what. So now, look at my little hydro batteries. Two. My shelf. This is his little workbench. My little workbench. So Doing now. a little tour around the workshop now. I will be getting a new shed. I would say that. I will be getting, getting a new shed. Getting a new. Yeah. In time. This is my. It's like a monster truck now. What's a buggy? Well, the wheels, they do help, but they do suck off a lot. They do... Needs to be good. They is need to be less grippy, because it's too grippy, you just flip, and it don't let allow a little Not bit good of in a small area as well. Quite bad in a small area. So, the wing's kind of broken a bit, but... <laughs> it's alright. This needs a new motor and ESC, or ju I think it's just an no, ESC. ESC, it just needs an ESC, because I think something's all gone wrong. I think the fuse has gone in it, because it's every time you pull off, it just so keeps cutting out. you fuses on it, or not? Not on these. I think you can with um, most hobby wing parts. You can't. So a bit strange, isn't it? Throw it over there. Shit. <laughs> so now this is what I'm using. Fast guy remote. That is a nice one. It is nice. I'll be doing a view on that another day. But I've added my own little handle because every time I keep dropping it sometimes. So what I do, I just put that on my wrist just to keep it a bit safe. Add a bit of. But I also do recommend as well, all metal parts you get, Loctite. use Loctite. Removable Loctite. I'll show you the box. Removable, medium strength. It will Help. stop all bolts from coming Help off. Helps a lot. Helps a lot. So, and also I will be doing... A giveaway. This was the Acme remote, but yeah, the Acme remote. I still do use it. They're pretty good remotes for like pretty the size good. of them. Yeah, it looks cheap, but it's still pretty good. Right, right. We are entering 
this month's competition. It'll be ending of what's next month? April. April. It'll be ending April. These wheel nuts. Blue ones. Blue ones. That really fit. nice. Fit. H most one tenth scale. You can see there. Yeah, monster ones. You can see. Let's focus it. The light. Do you wanna put? Ah, pull, the light. Up, right, pull up the light. There you go. Pull it up in the light. See them in there. Yeah, there we go. Them all. They do fit. They fit perfect. Try so them. So we've been doing a giveaway. You, you in the comment section, just type whatever. But you need to type. I subscribed and like the video to enter. Then write in the comment section. Done it. Then I'll pick out a random person in the comments which have subscribed and liked, and or I'll contact you. I should know. Yeah, I'll contact you. Then you'll be getting these lovely pair of blue anodized wheel nuts. So they're on the wall. Over there. On the wall. So now this leads to this car. This oh, was. Oh yes. Oh yeah. The nicest little car I've ever seen. It was so good. It so fast for a little car. So fast. It was actually pretty quick. It had a, it had a brushed motor in it. I think it was a 390 or 360 motor 360. It? Probably 360. The same yeah. size as a crawler motor. Yeah, 360 motor. But it had a little tiny LiPo battery with it. 1,100 milliamp LiPo. Got up to about 30. 35? 30. I think it was about 30, it was 50 kilometers to per hour. Jake decided to snap the cunt. Yeah, well, I didn't really snap it. It was the um, central transmission drive shaft that was plastic. It was plastic and just snapped clean off. So that's why it's going on the shelf of doom. Shelf, yeah, we don't have room for the... Um, like this, it's wall the, sh of this <laughs> the wall of shame. Shelf Down of here doom. is the second wall of shame, which is... The middle class, and then the lower class, we've got the DHK. I don't know if you can see. You can't it. even see that, it's so dark. The DHK. Well, it is down there somewhere. So, yeah. But focus on this, focus on this, lads, focus on this. This is the best video ever. Best car ever, sorry. Amazing car. I will be doing. Also, I forgot to say, you have a drone, don't you? A drone, yes, yes, yeah. yes, 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 but it's put but away. I'll be doing a video on that. You'll be seeing action from this driving in our field. Oh, we've, we're currently doing a little track that we've done. Shit. So, yeah, mind my language. So, this car is completely amazing. I recommend getting one. So, I will be doing a video of doing the rest of the bits and bobs. But, oh well. That'll be another video. I'll be leaving a link off my previous video of it standard. So, like and subscribe, remember. If you like, subscribe, and type done it or done or whatever. You have to comment, like, and subscribe to win these. This is RC Racing. See you later.